<laughs> ugly, ugly. Yeah. Ugly. So, quick recap. We have completed the steering system, the mounting system, and that's about it. Do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> this is part two of our, uh, our trolling motor uh, kayak adventure here. And uh, when we left off, we had the mount done, and that's about it, right? We just had the mount done? We had the mount done. Uh, we hadn't figured out how to, we were trying to figure out a way to make it turn, which we were unsuccessful with <laughs> the throttle cable that we were originally trying yes. to use. So, me and uh, Mr. Shaky Head we put our heads together and said, uh, We schemed up an idea. After we, doing some research on YouTube and... <clears throat> well, this is all original. All original ideas. Here. All original. Basically, basically, if you want the most rigged up kayak you can possibly get, you found your answer here. Okay. Ah. Now let's go over. Let's go over the the new addition of the steering mechanism here. The incomplete steering mechanism, incomplete, that we're uh, we're going to talk about here for a second. So, got two eye bolts. Two eye bolts. With some, uh, what do you call these things? Um, D rings. D what? Uh, clampy. Ah, they had a name. D rings, aren't they? I don't know the clampy thing. Same things you use for like hiking and and rock climbing stuff. Except these are like the ones you don't. You're not supposed to use. They're the cheap. They're not for ones. weight. They're not for weight. <laughs> Anyways, so that we got these uh, little line clamps. I guess you could call them. With some, uh, you guessed it, weed eater string. 0 0.95. 0 0.95 weed eater, weed eater string. Cross them over here. Put them through some more eye bolts. These pulleys are going to be gone soon, so don't worry about those. Put them through some more eye bolts to help guide them through here. Another eye bolt here to keep it off the sides. Into a uh, fashionable wood handle, which is going to be uh, sanded down and stained. <laughs> Looking really good. <laughs> Held on with some uh, lag bolts. So yeah, that's the steering mechanism, and basically you, you want to teamwork it. So that's one way, right? Let's just just try it. Okay, other way. Look at there. Look at there. And I will have to say, for what it is, it actually works. It does work. It works good. The only problem that I see so far is weed eater string. When it gets warm, it gets a little stretchy. But <laughs> stretchy no matter what. It, it you know. I don't really see it being a problem. If it is, we can substitute it out with some cable. Yeah. We even thought about using well, braid. Here we go. Uh, I mean, we have the cable and everything. We got steel, steel cable. We can try out if if we don't like this. I, we can always we can always go back. What scares me is uh, you can get it in back. the water. I don't think it's going to lock up. This is this is my theory. I think worst case scenario, this thing's just going to stretch and make it hard to turn. That's just just me thinking. It's going to stretch and make it hard to turn. I don't think it'll break. Weed your stuff. I mean, it's Weedier surely. Weed is is very strong, but it also is very stretchy. It's very stretchy, but I think I think we'll be okay. And so, uh, so guys, you could, this is a half inch clamp. Basically, you take two of these, you go buy one of them, and it's a what they call it is a, a pipe hanger. And so you s basically buy two of them, split them apart, and then put the two ends together, buy two eye bolts and uh, some nuts, and you got. A way to clamp to this steering column or to the steering column to the steering shaft um <laughs> steering column steering column anyway but i think we're going to cut this down um basically i've got a uh, little pvc elbow 90 degree i'd like to put on there then we're going to take the wire and we are going to run it up we're going to put like a, a hole i don't i ordered a grommet the grommet hasn't come in yet, so I don't know if we'll use a grommet or a quick disconnect, like a, kind of a three-way plug or whatever you want to call it, but it's going to go into here. And the battery is going to sit right here. We're going to make a tray. I am a huge guy. I'm six foot <laughs> six. And, He's uh, mostly huge. I'm probably 275 on a good day. 275. <laughs> and uh, so one of the problems and one of the concerns is being too heavy. internet company just called me and we said 
hey, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, what you have is, uh, is working fine. What do you have? I'm like, you yeah. should know what I have, basically. Yeah. She's like, oh, uh, uh, internet. I'm like, yes, I have internet. I have internet through you guys. Well, what do you look up on the internet? <laughs> internet stuff. I was like, what? I'm a YouTube star. What do you mean, what I look up on the internet? You don't that, talk that's a personal that. question, first of all. You don't call up people out of the blue and ask them what they look up on the internet. What do you. Porn? Like. <laughs> <laughs> They're calling you now. <laughs> Hello. What do you look up on the internet? So, what we've done here is we've taken the top off of our trolling motor. We've got four wires coming out of here. Forward, reverse, and uh, high, low speed, all that stuff. We've got that cut off. We're connecting it with some old extension cord. <laughs> we got one more wire we got to run, aside from the, because the extension cord only has one wire in it. So we got one more wire we gotta run. Uh, we're putting our switch panel right about here. So it'll be right at the front here. We can just forward reverse, high, medium, low, it'll be real easy to access. And we'll tuck our wires up up in here somewhere real easy so we don't have to worry about yanking them out during heavy operation. Our power is gonna be right back here, these two clamps. Build a little battery box right here, it'll be real easy. Make sure it doesn't hit the seat. Boom. So we're gonna continue doing this and uh, I'll update you here in just a moment uh, when we get this done. All right, finished product here. What's we've done? We've cut the top off of it. We've got our wires run through. A little PVC in that's not secure yet because we suck. Run it through some kind of, we got all wired in here, tied over so it holds up. Got some tie downs here, so they can't go nowhere. Run through a hole in the back of the, in the back of the old kayak here. Now we've got a battery which needs. We gotta make a mount for it still, but that'll come at a later date. Power wires. We got our, our actual wiring tucked up in the in the. Well, what would you call it? A little cubby hole or something in there? A little crease in the kayak for a switch panel. Now we got a low, medium, and high. We'll start on low. Oh, there we go. Got low. She's working. I'm gonna switch her up to medium. Oh yeah, baby. And high. Woo, hear it kick down. It doesn't work for shit, but it could. No, oh, and reverse, baby. That's it, right there. Steering's done. Switch panel's mounted. You just ripped the... <laughs> You just ripped the cable out. <laughs> we got. We Let's go got, try this bad boy out. We got to find a better way to mount this cable. What we're gonna try her out though. He's gonna sink and I'm gonna laugh and then we're gonna fish a little bit to end the day off. Hopefully it doesn't work and hopefully he goes in the water. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. We'll see you. We'll see y'all at the pond. You ready to get wet? Yes, sir. I'm looking good. I'm not. I'm not even excited to fish right now. I just want to see you get in that kayak. That's how excited I am. I ain't worried about fishing. I mean, I am a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. But, but I just want to see you get in that kayak. <laughs> Let's see that little leg room. Yeah, there is none. Hey, it works. It works. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I know, I'm just holding this up. <laughs> what are you at? I just can't. I can't handle it. Hang on. I just can't. Lock it? Uh uh. You're in the mud. Locked? There, it's locked. You're still in the mud, though. Fire bad boy up, it's floating, man. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs>
We not, might need to put some actual terminals on the end of that. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Wow. <laughs> Don't go too far, man. <laughs> Stay away from the fish. Wow. Wow. Hell, stretch your legs. The, the, <laughs> oh, the road is yours. That's not bad though. That seems like a respectable speed. That ass in, you're, the wood is almost touching the water. It is touching the water. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, I think it works pretty good. Yeah, except for the wood keeps getting deeper and deeper. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Tell me that. So there he goes. The maiden voyage. He's actually made it. We we've accomplished something. It's working. He trusts it. It actually works really, really, really good. I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed with how well it's actually working. He's like, he's just going across the pond. He didn't care now. I guess he, I guess he trusts it enough to where, he trusts it more than I would, let me put it that way. But uh, the only thing I'm noticing is the rear of the kayak is, is awfully low in the ground. Our, our wooden mount part is actually kind of touching the top of the water there. But it seems like uh, maneuverability is actually pretty well, better than I thought. Uh, but if he does get in a tight spot, he has reverse, so he can uh, get out of it. But speed, it looks like it's going plenty, plenty fast. Uh, I'm pleased. I think we did a really good job. I'm pissed you haven't sank yet. I wish you would sink. You know, you're always going to have to have someone with you to pull you up on the shore. How you gonna get out? That thing was making wake. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> Here, <it takes> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Oh, you got it. All right. Well, unlock your trolling motor there. Ooh. Oh, it's coming up. Oh yeah, hey, hey, nice feature. See, nice okay. feature. I like that. So, guys, <laughs> that's durable. <laughs> kinda. He <laughs> kind of bent it a little bit. No, it just. Yeah, that's all. Just a little loose. Perfect. Hey, maiden voyage, baby. Maiden voyage. I, I think, I think it did damn that's good. Success. Although that, I mean, the water was literally you're like right here it, it was it was t no that's not where you want <laughs> the top of the kayak it was a little it's a little ass heavy well it could be the battery in me yeah maybe a smaller battery or in the front where are you gonna put it that's where the styrofoam is oh yeah you put if you gotta stretch the wire well no you probably wouldn't have to stretch the wire we'll have to redo our little harness here but my voyage did it turn good i mean it looked yes. like it was doing great Don't you ride it no <laughs> no. Why? I'm not riding that. Dude, it was flawless. I know it's flawless with you, but I don't like kayaks, first of all. I'm not good on kayaks. Flaw please, and please, just no, try it. Try it. No. Try it. I ain't doing that. Why? No, you ain't going to get me in that kayak. Why? I don't like kayaks. I almost flipped one without a trolling motor on it. How do you think I'm going to be in that one? And it was wider. It looked like it was moving pretty quick. Oh, it was. So I'm cooking. But I want to say something about the trolling motor. I want to make... A basically just a little pulley system where I can pull it up. So when you're done, you just pull it up. When you're done, you just pull it up. All right. 
But other than that, man, this actually the steering worked flawlessly. Uh, switches worked. Did you try reverse? No, I didn't. I, I wouldn't. As, well, as deep in the water as the rear end was, if you go backwards. I bet it's that deep. It just I don't think that weighs that much. I think it, what it is is where, where you're pushing it, it's pushing the ass end down, and that's what's causing that. That might be because when you when you lean forward, it came it all came up. So I'm that's thinking the thing. you got a lot of weight back there, and it's trimmed up a little it's bit. Trimmed. I don't think it's gonna sink. No, I mean there ain't no water in it. <laughs> if you roll it, it will. If you're in this pond, I think you'd be all right. But if you win if you win some rough water, you <laughs> you might be you might be going for a swim. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it because trolling motor on a kayak is pretty awesome. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and head to the house. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to share this video, guys. If you if you know uh, anyone with a kayak that uh, you think might need a trolling motor on it, share the video. Let them know we have the answer. Uh, if you want to check out KIG's video, it's a little more in-depth than mine, I'm sure. Uh, I'll link his channel in the description below. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.